Hi guys, so I am here with another decluttering video. I feel so good when I get these videos done because I feel like I'm just like purging and getting rid of crap that I don't need. I've already said this in a previous decluttering video, but I'm saying it again. So today we are doing bronzers. I feel like I have a lot, maybe not as much as other categories, but yeah, I think I have a good amount. So I'm gonna go through everything, show you guys what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of. You guys should know the drill by now. Why am I out of breath already? I just got here. I mean, I just started. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab and go. So the first thing I have is the Motives Mavens with Love Sculpt Series in the shade Fire. That's what she looks like. Isn't it cute? Um, this is a cream, like you have a cream contour, bronzer, corrector, and concealer. Um, this, I don't use that often, but if I do a cream contour, well now I have my Smashbox contour stick, so I tend to use those. But before I had those, this was what I would always use. And it's really good, really good quality. The products blend very nicely, so I'm definitely definitely hanging on to this guy and then i have the revlon photo ready bronzed and chic <sighs> this was discontinued and this is one of my favorite favoritest most favoritest drugstore bronzers i know it looks super red or orange but on the skin this is so pretty and this is my last backup i had three Dang it, I'm so mad they got rid of this. I don't know why it picks up so warm because on the skin it looks beautiful. I tend to go for more cool toned bronzers rather than very warm ones, but for some reason this is just gorgeous. I wish they would bring this back. Dang it, Revlon. Are you trying to die? And then I have my Park Avenue Princess little contour kit from Tarte. I think it's called, yeah, Contour Palette. Um, this packaging, is that not so cute? I'm a sucker for a palette. No matter what's in it, I love these palettes. Like this size, I, no, I, there could be a dog turd in it and I would buy it. No joke. Tati's dog turd. Anyway, um, this one has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. I really like this. I don't love the bronzer, but I love the blush and the highlighter. Um, I do kind of use this one in the summer because it's very, very warm. But yeah, definitely keeping it. This is a really good product. And then I have a few from Physicians Formula. They do the best drugstore bronzers. So I have the BB Beauty Balm. You guys know I love this. I talk about this whenever I do any type of drugstore, like favorites or drugstore go-to products. It's so pretty. It's not super warm. It's just like the perfect shade. Love. This is such a beautiful bronzer. And I have medium to dark. Gorgeous. You guys need this. Does it smell? I felt like I was going to smell. Oh, it smells like suntan lotion. Maybe not. I'm just, I'm just dreaming. It's still freaking snowing outside, you guys. I need spring so bad. And then I have the Happy Booster. This is so cute. It's like the little hearts. I wear this thing out in the summer. Love. I mean, <laughs> love. It's so pretty. Look how cute they are. And they have a little bit of like a sheen to them. So if you just dip your brush in it and ugh, it gives you the most gorgeous like sun-kissed glow. Love. I was going to say it again. Love. But uh, this is good stuff. Really good. And it smells good. This one does smell. It smells like perfume. Oh, it takes me to summer. Damn it, I need summer. And then I have the Milani Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer. This thing's been through hell. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I've had this one for like three years. You guys should know. I've talked about this numerous times before. I love this. In the summer, when I'm super tan, I will take this with a big fluffy brush and put it on my shoulders and my chest. And every time I do it, you guys are like, oh my God, your skin is glowing. It looks so beautiful. It's this. This stuff is amazing. This is a dupe for the Lorac Tantalizer. I think that's what it's called. If you ever see this, I haven't seen it, but if you ever see this, you need it. Look at this shade. It's so pretty. It's just like this. 
it's not like a super bronze shade. It almost kind of has like a highlighted shade to it. But when you put this on just like the high points, like your shoulders and oh, it's so gorgeous. It's my secret. It is my summer secret. If I'm in a tank top, I just dust it every time somebody compliments me on my glow. This right here. Settle down. And then I have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This one's in the medium deep shade. I got this in like a little set or something. Definitely keeping. This is a really, really good bronzer contour shade depending on like my skin tone. If I'm tan or not, really good. And it smells so good. I mean, can we just take a minute or can I take a minute? Can you guys just give me a minute? I think I also have that in the full size. Yes, I do. This one is light to medium. This one I tend to wear a little bit more. I'm about to hit pan. I can see the little rings. I've worn this thing so many times. I mean, look at it. There's like dust all over it. It just smells so good and it's such a beautiful shade. Blends out beautifully. If you guys don't have this, it's a really good one. I'm not doing very well, am I? I feel like I'm just showing you my collection as opposed to getting rid of stuff. Okay, I am going to get rid of some stuff, I promise. The Sonia Kashuk Undetectable Cream Bronzer. This is the one that's supposed to be a dupe for the Chanel Le, Le Cream de Chanel Bronze Universal something or other. It's just a cream bronzer. That's pretty much what it is. But it's really good. I would never get the Chanel one because this one does such a good job. It blends out nicely. It's not too warm even though it looks super warm in the packaging. It looks gorgeous on your skin. If you don't want to spend the money on the Chanel one, I this one has my stamp. Even though I look like I was about to just beat it up. It has my stamp, girl. I am getting rid of this one. The NYC Sun and Bronze in Montauk. Montauk? Bronze? So East Coast right there. Montauk. Um, this one is really pretty. It looks really good on the skin, but I just have so many other ones that I grabbed for before this. So this one I am going to donate to a good home. And then my Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This one I'm also getting rid of. That might be shocking to some people. I used to love this. I used to wear this a ton, but I just, I'm into different products now and this one just, it just sits and I don't wear it. So I feel like my mom maybe would like this. I mean, the packaging is super cute. You guys know I'm a packaging whore. Um, so yeah, it's a really good one and it's a really pretty shade. I feel like it might be too dark for my mom. I'll give it to someone. Oh my God, if I don't drop it before then, I mean break it. Oh my, just keep going. And then I have the NARS Casino. Definitely not getting rid of this, even though it looks super scary. I only use this in like July and August when I'm super tan. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous bronzer in the summer. I could never get away with this right now. What is that? Um, but yeah, it's, it, trust me, in the summer, good stuff. And then the next one I have is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer in Antigua. This, I think I'm going to get rid of. I never use it. I never, ever use it. It's really good quality, both products, like the, I'm sorry, I feel like that's annoying when I'm looking in my mirror, but I can really see the product better. Like, I just have my little mirror. Anyway, sorry. Um... So both products are really good, but I think I'm going to get rid of it because I never, ever, ever grab for this. And then I have my Bourjois bronzing powder. This is the one that looks like a chocolate bar. Show you the packaging. Come on, Nicole. Um, this one I'm also getting rid of. I was so hard up for this, but now that I have it, I don't ever grab for it. It just, the shade doesn't look good on my skin. It looks very, very red and I just I'm not a fan so I'm gonna get rid of that guy and then I have the pop beauty sun-kissed bronzer in secret sunshine packaging um this one is so pretty but whenever I put this on my face it just looks bad I don't know if it's the formula that's bad and it just goes really muddy 
but I'm not a fan. I, I'm not really that big a fan of Pop Beauty. I do like their nail polish, but every, t every time, everything I've tried from them makeup-wise has just never worked out for me. And then I have two from Pixie. These are both really good. I have Summertime, which looks like that. And then I have Subtly, Subtle, Subtly, Subtly Sun Touch. And that is this guy. So Summertime and Subtly Sun Touched. That's such a weird name. Um, I'm gonna keep this one, of course, because it's like more my shade, I think. This one I'm gonna give away. It's just a little bit light for me. I could probably wear it as just like a face powder. So I think my mom would really like this one. She's a lot more fair than I am. This one. And then the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sunlight. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I never, ever grab for this. You can still see. I don't even think I've ever. Yeah, I did a couple times. But it just sits here and I don't use it. So she needs to go to a good home. Oh, I have another bronze booster from Physicians Formula. This one's just a little bit different. But I feel like they're very, very similar. Um, I was going to say I might get rid of this, but I know I'm not going to. I just love these so much. I love Physicians Formula bronzers. And this one's also in medium to dark. I'm keeping it. I don't feel bad. I'm keeping it. And then the Jane bronzer in Inspire. This is another really, really good drugstore bronzer. If you can find this, the color is gorgeous. It blends beautifully, and it's like five bucks, maybe, or like seven I don't know, but it's inexpensive and it's really good. Not getting rid of it. And then the Becca, what is this called? The Becca Shadow and Light Bronze Contour Perfector. I'm usually the biggest fan of Becca. You guys know that. I am a huge fan of the brand, but this, I can't. I just, I've tried so many different ways to make this work. I've tried this shade on its own. I've tried this one. I've mixed them. It just doesn't work for me, and I can't figure out why, but I feel bad because it's a really expensive bronzer, and it's just kind of sitting here, not getting any love. So she's going to a new, happier home where someone will love her and take care of her the way that she should be loved. <laughs> and then the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. Everybody talks about this. I'm going to try with this. I haven't touched it in probably a year, but I want to try because I hear so many people say how good it is, and I did used to use it a lot, but like I said, I haven't used it. Before I get rid of it, though, I want to give it a fair shot, so I'm going to try. If it doesn't work out, she's going. And then I have the Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzing Powder in, what shade are you? Oh, geez. I don't know. I think I took the shade off. Oh, no. Glow Light is the shade. As you can see, I don't think I've ever used this. It still has all of the little lines in it. It's just an odd shade. It's, I don't know, I just, I don't like it. I don't like it, that's my reason. I just don't like it, so peace out, my bitch. And a few more, we're almost done, I promise. I have Benefits Hula, which I love. It's, it's gorgeous. I'm almost hitting pan on this as well. I can kind of see it in there. Beautiful, beautiful. One of the best matte bronzer contour shades ever in the history of the entire lifetime of the world. Did that make sense? Um, this is gorgeous. If you don't own this, you need it. Everybody needs to own this, definitely. And then my beloved, my favorite, my NARS Laguna. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. I will not get rid of this until I use every last drop. This is one of my all-time favorite, if not my most favorite bronzer of ever, of ever, of the entire lifetime of my lifetime. Yeah. And then I have the NYX um, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. There's like so much controversy around this product because some people like it, other people don't. I'm not a fan. I feel like the shades are just, they just don't blend well for me. But there are people out there that if you say you don't like this, they go off on a rampage on you. 
I don't know why. I mean, to each his own. Some people like it, some people don't. That's okay. I feel like there's this, like, vendetta against people who say they don't like this, but I don't like it. So I'm getting rid of it. And this thing, I mean, I got it in a swag bag from NYX, but it's like 30 bucks. Hells to the no. And then I have my Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this. <gasps> yeah, right. This is probably my favorite. Not probably. It's definitely my favorite contour palette of all time. It is. You need it. I'm just going to say that. You need this. You need it. And I think this is the last thing, the Girlactic Matte Bronzer in Cabo. You guys should know how much I love this. Oh my God. This is the only bronzer contour shade, whatever you want to call it, that I've ever contemplated loving more than NARS Laguna. This is perfection. This right here is the perfect contour shade, bronzer shade, whatever you want to use this for, you can, I've used it in my crease, everything. Like I get light headed when I talk about this. It's so gorgeous. The quality is incredible. If you are looking for a really good shade that you can just contour with, bronze with, use it on your eyes, this, I'm telling you, you guys, girl actic bomb ass makeup. I do have a video coming. It's kind of in the works of just Girl Actic products. I'm gonna show you guys everything I have from the brand, tell you what's what's worth spending your money on and what I would kind of pass on. If you're excited about that, let me know. If you guys don't want it, oh my God, showing some bod, also let me know. But I think it would be good to do because I feel like nobody talks about Girl Actic and it's one of my favorite brands. So I think that that's everything. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Oh, I do have my NYX taupe blush. I use this to contour. Of course, I'm not getting rid of it because I love it. It's in this little palette here. I also have Fawn from Anastasia and what is this guy? Oh, this is Fawn from Anastasia, which obviously I'm not getting rid of either. And then, oh, this is a Makeup Forever eyeshadow, this guy right here. But I just wanted to show that to you, not going anywhere. And I'm pretty sure that we've covered everything. I always forget to show you guys stuff that's in my, like, beauty box because they're my favorites. And then you guys are like, wait, where's this? Where's this? And I'm like, oh, they're my favorites. I forgot to show them to you. Okay, so I think we did a pretty good job. This is everything that I'm getting rid of. So the next contour palette... And you guys know, we just went over it. I'm not going to go through everything again because I already feel like we've been here for a good while. But I think that's a pretty good amount to get rid of. I still have way more bronzers and contour powders than the average person needs. But I've really gotten into contouring and highlighting and all that stuff in the past couple months. So I'm still building my collection not of every category, but of this category, I feel like I'm still, there's still more that I want. I want the Laura Mercier, not that one that just came out, because I had that one and I took it back. It was too red. Um, but there's a Laura Mercier one that I want. There's another Smashbox one that I want. There's a Too Faced one that, yeah. I have issues. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I feel like I'm forgetting something. So thank you guys so much for helping me go through my crap. I love you guys. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Mwah. Bye. Today we are going to talk about high highlighters. No, we're not. I can't do highlighters yet. I can't. I don't want to talk about it. I don't think I can get rid of any of them. I mean, if, if I just don't want to like it, I, I don't like it. firstborn before you're even pregnant you will just sell yourself just take me and give me that delete do you see what you're doing to me with this bronzer here i'm losing my mind don't judge me don't you dare judge me anything that's in a little palette like this i just i love it i don't know what it is but i just love that you just have it it's here and I, if i want this i got it this got it it's it's just here it's here
feel like I'm going crazy. So I am keeping this. I am keeping it. And if you don't like it, who wanna check, Mabu? This eyebrow is definitely bigger. Tell me I'm not lying. Oh my god, what the freak? Where's my eyebrow pencil? Is that better? Now that I'm done filming, I'm fixing my freaking eyebrow. You know what? You're done. I'm done with you, Topaz. You bitch. You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, why is my one eyebrow so big? What the fudge? No, you did not just film two videos with that big ass eyebrow. Oh, I did. And you're all gonna like it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna want it. It's gonna be the new fad. One big, one small. And they're gonna call you Biggie Smalls. <laughs> you guys, I have a confession to make. I am addicted to perfume samples. Like, legit, I think I have like 50 of them. But they're so good. Like, why not? I like the ones that have the little sprayer. But, like, flower bomb. Spray me. Spray me down. Why not? I have two flower bombs. And I will take your two flower bombs and I will raise you a Tory Burch. <laughs> Ow! I just scratched my mole. Like, my nail caught it and I, like, took it off. I don't want to take my mole away. You guys, I'm getting a tattoo soon. <laughs> Get excited. It'll be my fifth one. But I'm getting, like, a... I'm getting something here. Like, here. <gasps> what am I going to do when I do swatches? <gasps> I may have to rethink this. But I think I'm getting it over here. So we'll be okay. Do you guys even give a freaking rat's ass? No. Oh, I just said myself. You bitch. So today's the 8th. My birthday's in three days. It's on Wednesday. I don't want it to come. I don't want to be 21. I want to stay 20 forever. If any of you bitches believe that I'm 20, I have a bridge I'd like to sell you and a dog turd in my backyard. Oh my god. I swear my grandma used to wear this perfume going to bingo. Mm -mm, I don't like it. I don't want to smell like a grandma. I'm not that old yet, am I? Cover those wrinkles up. <laughs> Do I smell like an old woman? Come here. Sniff me. Right? Get grandma. out. Grandma, I told you guys. Smells like a grandma going to bingo. And 40! Bingo! Woo! Bingo! Woo! 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 Woo!